It is Friday, June the 7th when we are recording this and interest rates, good news, are holding right around that 7% mark. And as we've talked about, that is a historically average interest rate. So that's great news. The next thing, this headline, I love it. 36% of Americans think real estate is the best long-term investment. That was above stocks and mutual funds at 22%, gold at 18 and savings accounts at 13%. And are they right? Well, let's take a look at the numbers. So here you go, here is the trend lines and you can see that hockey puck going whoop up. And so yes, over time, the average sales price, the increase year over year is very solid. And if we take a look at this chart, we can see that the trend only a few years there during the great recession did home prices go down and they have recovered now i am definitely not a stock analyst or expert in the trade of stocks mutual funds anything like that but take a look at this graph all this looks like to me is a roller coaster whereas with housing like just look at the difference you know why they're not making any more real estate there's no more dirt so we have what we have it's a finite resource whereas stocks and bonds and mutual funds are based off of companies and companies that were around 150 years ago are not necessarily around today so there is legitimate reason to know that land dirt home and real estate are solid investments so having said that what should you be doing buying so let's jump right into the real estate market here we go in atlanta new listings in the last seven days 2900 can you believe that huge influx of inventory with school getting out which is fantastic news more options four bedrooms two baths median list price on those 440 400 that is definitely an uptick though back on market 503 369.9 is the median sales price on those price drops we are seeing a lot of these why pricing is a strategy not a value and when you start high what happens yeah, you're probably looking at a price reduction and we had 2,323 of those with only 59 of those 2,300 going pending. Median price point on those 410,000 expired. Big jump here, 674. 425 being the median price on those withdrawns. They voluntarily left the market but still almost 400 and the median sales price, I mean, on list price on those was 448, so pretty high. Active under contract, so the ones that just went under 801, median on that three bedrooms, two baths, all the rest were four twos. 410,000 is the median list price, pendings 1,680, three two, 410 being the median sales price. So how do, and we talked about this last week, so cool. How do builders combat the price is going up. They do it with smaller homes, less square footage, so that they can mitigate the pricing. So we're seeing the three bedrooms, two baths, under contract and pending at 410,000 median price with all the rest median being higher, average price, but they have bigger, more bedrooms. And um, so yeah, there, there we go. Close, 2,433, four bedrooms, two baths, median on that. But here's the thing, 425,000 is the median list price, median sale price, 424,990. So <laughs> average sales price, uh, list price to sales price, 99.99%, $100 off is, or I'm sorry, $10 off a sales price is hilarious. Um, but days on market, only 13. The homes that are priced right on average are going under contract within four days right now. What is dragging days on market median up is the homes that are sitting on the market longer getting price reduction. So just so you know, if you are priced correctly in this market, four days. If you're not under contract in four days, you're priced too high. That's where we're at. All right, have a great weekend and we will see you next week.